guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I pair my A Pupurea and I'm gonna show you all the preparations I do before I actually pair them because there's some stuff you need to do before you put the spiders together. So I'm gonna show you that in the video. So let's just get straight into the clips. All right guys, so we are in the middle of a move. So it's a bit of a chaos at home. But this guy right here, just molted out and uh, that was about 15 days ago. He got a meal yesterday and it's a mature male of a Vicularia pulperea. I want to put it in with my female and I'm pretty sure she's at least getting close to pre -mold. So I want to put him in this thing and then put this container in with the female and then I can observe him and her tonight. So this video uh, I just want to do it tonight so I can get him into a new box to see if he makes a sperm web because if he makes a sperm web in here I won't be able to see it. So let's see if I can get this guy to come over to this other one. Nice and easy. Here buddy. You're fine. You're fine. Gotta help him a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to go there. You want to come up there. All right. So now we've got him into the new home. There we go. So now we know if this guy makes a sperm web. We will see it. And tonight we're actually gonna put him in with the female. Hold on. I haven't measured this, but I think. Okay, that's not gonna fit. <laughs> Maybe if we move this like this. I guess we just have to put him. Okay. I didn't think this fruit. Let's see if we can move. Okay, I have an idea. Let's do it like this. Let's put the lid on. And then we're gonna put him in like this. And then just close it. So now he is in with the female. I'm gonna put the terrarium back into the little terrarium wall I have. And I'm gonna observe how the female reacts to having a male in there. So I will make an update pretty soon. All right, so it's been about three days oops, since I put the male in here. And he webbed a lot in his container. I cannot see a sperm web in there yet. Uh, but he covered the water bowl, so I'm gonna have to spray a little bit of water in there. And a little bit of an update on the breeding. The female has come out about this area. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but up here. And I haven't seen any drumming or anything like that. So I don't know if she not, if she's. And, and I don't know if she's not interested or if she can't see him. So my friend gave me a tip that I should try to put the container up here. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. And I have an old container, this is obviously empty, it was an old sling container. I think I'm gonna put this under and then put him on top. So I'm gonna see if that works some way. Oh, that's not gonna fit. I think I have to take these up. I'm sorry. Alright, so now it's gonna fit. I don't know, I might want it higher up. This might be too high. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so that didn't work. So I'm gonna see if I can. I don't know what this is gonna do. Yeah, 
still want it a bit higher. So maybe if I can squeeze this one in here. Like that. And then something like that. And now he's at the same level as the female, which is great. I mean, I'm taking up a lot of space, but the female is for the most time behind in their hide. So I think that should be fine. I'm gonna look tonight and see if I can see any activity because he is right next to where she used to sit. So I think this is actually perfect, so. All right, so this is the first time I pair a spider that isn't communal. And when the spider is communal, there is a very low risk that the female is gonna eat them out. So now when it's another species that actually can eat them out, I really want to have some help from a friend. And my friend Rick is gonna be in this video, he's gonna help me pair the spiders. He has been keeping spiders for years and he has been pairing them for years. So if you need help with a spider, that's the guy to go to. And I'm very fortunate to know him and that uh, he is willing to help me. So if you see more than one or two hands in the video, that is Rick's and mine, of course. Another thing I want to mention is that Rick and his wife have their own YouTube channel. It's called Cradles of Arachnids. It's right there because I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Anyways, they're not active right now. I've been trying to get them active and post more videos. So I figured if I plug their channel into my video, maybe some of you guys can go and follow them and try to comment and try to get them going because they will make awesome content. Like they have sick animals. It will be really cool to watch. So go over there, show some love and try to get them to do videos again because I'm sure you're gonna love those videos for sure.
All right, guys, I wanted to bring you a little friend for the outro. It's always much more easier to talk when I have a friend here. Anyways, this is Tank that you guys helped me name. He's a Russian tortoise. He's really tiny, so he's gonna grow a lot bigger. But yeah, anyways, back to the video. I hope you liked the video. It's really unfortunate that we couldn't pair the avicularias, but I have another male coming up and the male I have right now should also survive for a long time. So we should be fine. So once the female has molted, I'm just gonna put the male back in with the female again and I'm gonna make a part two video and I'm gonna show you how that video goes. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And if you are still here watching all this, please consider dropping a like. Please leave a comment because I love those comments. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And then I will see you in the next video.